Is it possible to do all the Rob Top levels using only the ball? In comparison to the other game modes like Ship, Wave, and UFO, using the ball to complete the Rob Top levels is gonna be nigh impossible. However, compared to game modes like the Robot, the Spider, and the Cube, using the ball is more feasible to beat the levels than those game modes. So the reason why the ball is actually possible compared to some other game modes is because the ball takes off one square from the top and bottom of the levels. So these spikes actually, I think, just disappear. And I think you can make it through because of that. But the other game modes don't have that. This is going to be such a stupid video. I actually, now that I think about it, I think most of these levels are going to be impossible because of the flying sections. But some of them will be possible. Like Polar Geist is going to be possible. But I actually think that Stereo Madness is going to be impossible because there are spikes on the bottom of the flying section. Oops. Okay, whatever. That doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, we're back to the middle. Like, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to get past this section. Are the spikes just gone? The, so the spikes are gone. Yeah, the spikes are on the top. Oh, oh, baby. Look at us go. But I think the end of the level is what's going to destroy us. Okay, <laughs> dude, this challenge is going to be so dumb. Like I said, the UFO the wave and the ship you can kind of like go wherever you want but the other game modes you're stuck you know you can only go in certain ways and it's mostly gonna be impossible but the reason why i want to do the ball is it has the highest chance just because of the nature of going all the way across the screen at like a kind of a diagonal it has the highest chance of actually being kind of possible like look we can go right here we're kind of centered we can go along the top oh my god it is impossible no no, we were so close. So close. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Watch this. You might only be able to do this trick with a one block gap, though. I'm trying to do it with a two block gap because, like, if you go on a one block gap, you can double tap it and you can actually, like, stick, but it's really hard to do. Yeah, you can only do it with one block. That's that's unfortunate. Okay. That's fine. It's okay. Stereo Madness, we made it to 93%. 93% is what we can get to, right? 93%. Oh, hell yeah. Back on track, I think, is possible. Let's go. I think back on track might be possible some other game modes, too. Like, Cuban Robot, I think it would be. Which is wild. Back on track is just the most possible level. I'm gonna see how... Ooh, I'm gonna see how much I can touch on some of these jumps and not just stay along the top the whole time. Although, I will be staying on the top most of it. Because, you know, it would be impossible otherwise. But, I'm. Um, you know what? Look, look, at those, look at those tricks. I'm gonna go down when I can. Oh, son. Easy. This just looks like a normal ball section. It looks like a very easy ball section. This flying part. Nice. Holy shoot. Okay. Well, we got to be a little more deliberate. We got to go down like that. That actually could have stopped us. That was pretty close. Boom, boom. Oh, oh! Why can't I make that? Do you go higher as... Do you go higher as the cube on jump pads? I didn't even realize that. It's just something that I don't really think about, you know? Watch this. No, <laughs> that's, that's, that's impossible. We got to go up here. Oh, son. Oh, son. Back on track is possible with only the ball, baby. I actually thought Polar Geist was going to be really possible, but there is some cube sections that are extremely tight, which look like they're impossible because the ship section is very possible. It's just there's like cubes floating in the air. You can literally just coast along the top or bottom for most of it. But there's some cube parts that look really challenging. To be fair, I only expected there to be like a handful of levels that are possible, like three or four of them, maybe. So the fact that we've already gotten one and are possibly going to get another is like blowing me away. Oh, yes. Look at this. This is actually going to be fun going through here with the ball. Let's go. Let's go. All right. That, that, dude, that was awesome. So now we get to this part with the staircases. So the staircases are possible. Like you don't have too much momentum going down. Oh, no. Oh, I, got, I did get in there. Did you see that ball input? Wow. I mean, I didn't really have to go that way for this challenge. Oops. Had to go up top there. Okay. But I did. I did anyways. Okay. So now the screen is moved down where it should be. And we're going down the staircase. Oh, dude. What? Oh, you can go up top there. Okay. See what I mean? There, there were some tricky parts in this level, man. Let's get up there. Oh! So is this end possible? Okay, there is a space along the top you can coast on. So yeah, this is possible. Polar Geist, possible with only the ball. Let's go. Dry out, baby. Let's do this. This one seems like it's going to be possible. Crazy. Ball game mode. Legendary. It's funny how Stereo Madness was impossible, though. But the next three levels, back on track, Polar Geist and Dry Out, are seemingly possible. There we go. Jeez. Dude, dude! 
<laughs> it's so hard to get where it like to get onto where I put these portals. Bruh, bruh, to like straighten out the screen. Nice, chill. Upside down, very easy. We can just coast along here. We'll hit the occasional one just because, uh, just out of boredom, you know? Oh, did you see that portal hit? Nice. Oh, that was very, that was very close as well. I don't know why I keep on going up and down. Okay, so this is the point. Oh, dude, nice. The spikes get cut off. Ball is the true MVP, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, oh, it's impossible. Oh, shoot. The ground does not get cut off. Oh, dang. We made it so far. So far. Dry out. 77%. I think base after base is impossible. I, I just, it's, it's not looking good, folks. It's not looking good. Are all the levels just going to be impossible from here on out? Are we going to only have two possible levels? See, look at, look at all these maneuvers I have to do to get through here, man. Oh my god. I mean, I can just coast along the top. But, like, there are some tricky maneuvers you have to do. Especially to get the screen to move up and down where it's supposed to go. Ow, dude. Bro, bro. Up we go. Up we go. Oh my god. How am I, so how am I still alive? How am I still so how, how am I still alive? Holy, look at those. Look at those tricks, dude. Let's just go through. We're just we just going to go through here. We can just coast along the bottom. It doesn't, doesn't even matter, dude. All right. So the spikes in the ball section do not get us. I put the portal exactly where the ship portal was. So we're right in the middle of the screen where we should be. And because the ball cuts off a little bit of the screen, that just works out in our favor. So base after base is actually pretty possible using only the ball. Thank God for the uh, screen changing like it does. That saves our bacon, man. When there's just spikes like on the top and bottom of the screen that can kill us. And that's it. That saves our bacon so hard. All right, interesting. I thought this one was gonna be impossible. Base after base is possible. Once again, I this part looks impossible, but I think because of the nature of cutting off part, the top and bottom of the screen, I think it's gonna be okay. Actually, the end of Can't Let Go looks brutal. <laughs> the upside down cube section looks disgustingly hard, dude. What's really interesting is after these staircases, you don't have enough room to actually like get out of that, even though it looks like there's so much space there. So there's not enough room as the ball to get out of those places like this. I guess what I could do is just go down like that and then go up on the screen. Wow. But it's this is the ball is such a weird one, dude. It's so weird, like finding the pathing for this. So, so oh, my God, bro. But the thing is, you can just fall like you can just fall and avoid so much of the level using the ball because you can go on the top or bottom of the screen as opposed to other game modes where you would just like fall, you know? Boom, boom. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hit those jump orbs. We'll hit the, we'll hit those jump orbs, baby. Oh, shoot. Nice, nice, nice. We going, that was crazy. Okay, nice. And the ship part, the spikes are cut off. Oh, baby, we doing it. Can't let go is also possible. It's possible, baby. Okay, but this part, this, this is just gonna be ridiculous. So we got to hit that orb late. So, oh no, I could go up there as well. But I could just hit the orb late. Oh, wow, secret way. We're just going to go like this. The, the ball is like so safe from so many things. It's such a weird game mode to be doing this challenge on. Holy shoot. So, sometimes you just get randomly assaulted by spikes like that. But there's always a way out, you know? There's always, there's always a way out. I do have to hit that portal though. I got to go up really... Oh, there we go. Okay, that, that would work. Because I have to hit the gravity portals. That's like... It's part of the challenge. I can't be skipping like portals that are normally a part of it. That's just impossible then, isn't it? I don't have to take the normal Rob Top route, but I certainly have to hit all the portals that you normally would have to hit to count this as like, can you do it using only one game mode? Because you can't like... You can't cheat that much, right? You don't have to take the Rob Top path, but you got to hit all the portals that you're intended to hit, the places that you're intended to hit them. And I think this portal just makes it impossible. Okay, so can't let go, you can get to 87%. Dang, I thought that would truly be possible. Jumper, this already looks impossible to me. <laughs> I, I don't think we're doing anything with this level. Like just these cube sections, like this, this looks impossible because the bottom spikes here, I don't think you can get past it. Let's just jump into it before I like make the whole level. I already think looking at it from the beginning, it's just impossible, but it would be this one would be so interesting to play because this one you can't just coast along the top or the bottom. You actually have to go this way. You know, you have to go the main way. 
which this level would be so fascinating. But no, like parts like this, like that's already impossible. Like that, that's unfortunate. Jumper would have been a really fun one as we got into it. But at least the beginning was fun. All right, so Jumper, 6%. Wow, only 6%. Yikes, dude. Time machine will be possible until this point. The levels are starting to get more and more impossible to do just because of like tight flying corridors. But we are, we're still gonna try. Like I said, we're still gonna just see what the highest percentage on each of the levels we can get is. So beginning of the level is extremely chill. Very, very relaxing. However, it's gonna get, it's gonna get bananas as soon as we get to the ship part. Look at this, we can even take the normal route. No, we can't. Dude, no, we can't. How are we, how are we even gonna get through there? I think I got I got to coast along the top. Like I have to cheese it to be able to do it. I ha I had to cheese it. There's no way to even get through the cube part at the beginning. Look at this, because the ball like falls like that. Ouch, dude. The ball, dude. We only made it to 22%. We didn't even make it to the ship, bro. 22%. What is that? Time machine. You failed me. Cycles, Cy I believe in you, Cycles. Cycles, let's let's try to complete Cycles. Maybe not, like look at this stuff. That looks hard as the ball. Are you kidding me? Like this part as well, man, look at this. <laughs> There's no way I'm doing that as the ball. Oh, this is this challenge is sick. Cycles, how far do you guys think I'm gonna make it into Cycles? It's gonna be not far at all. Look at that, I'm trying to take the normal way, but clearly it's impossible. Let's see, how far can we sneak through here? Not far at all, dude. Dude, we can't we can't sneak through at all. We'd have to go through the normal pathway. Oh my goodness, bro. Bro, it's just impossible right away. Yeah, there's there's nothing I can do here. It's just it's just impossible. I barely made it any distance at all in cycles. 9%? The, uh, dude, the X step, as soon as we get to the ship section, it's gonna be impossible. Are we even gonna be able to make it to the ship section? Is the question. I don't even know. With X step, we can't even make it out of the beginning of the level. It goes to 4%. What has happened to this challenge? It's because of all the stuff on the bottom of the level. No, no! Oh, 4%! I thought we were going to do better than this. Clutterfunk, we're screwed right at the beginning. This cube section, it's just too... The cube sections are too tight. There's no, You can't cheese the top or bottom of the cube sections anymore. And, like, if we can even make it to the ship section, not looking good as well. We do get access to the mini, though. What? Wow, did you see that? I can't even get past this part. Ugh. You know how hard I'm gonna have to work just to get there? There we go, I got it. I got it, dude, dude, holy shoot. That was like, is that is that near frame perfect? It, it was cl it's close to anyways. This is, this is sick. I'm working so hard for this challenge for such little results. Oh my goodness. Nice, 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 we're, fl we're flying. <laughs> it's so hard to do, man. Oh my God, I think that's it. I think that's where we get to. See, so this is the best I can do. I can land on this platform and my option is to go up there and die or to like fall down and die because I can't go up and then go down. There's way too little space. Clutterfunk 6%. <laughs> oh my God. TOE were boned right at the beginning because the ship section right here. Actually, yeah, no, we're boned because of this right here. This corridor right here makes it impossible. Okay, I mean, that's, pr that's dude, that is, that's very promising. What, what just happened there? But that's not promising. I can make it over there. And then I just die. I just, I'm so close to the ship part. Oh, we got to 8%. We can't make double digits anymore. No. Electroman Adventures looks ridiculous. Electroman Adventures is impossible immediately. <laughs> it's so dumb. No, this challenge is getting stupid. Look at the Oh no. Oh, oh, I made it. Oh, shoot. Well, then you get here and the, the, that cog wheel is too big. What if I did this? Oh, so close. Look at look at these tricks. Do you see how see how fast that was? Boom, boom, boom. I can't do it. Electroman Adventures 3%. Three? That's it, Electroman. Club step, my God. Are we just boned at the very beginning? The first jump? Can we not make the first? <laughs> we can't make the first jump at club step. Club step 1%. Electrodynamics. Oh, please. Okay, there's this more open space here. We could do it. 
We get, we get, we got, the, we got this, bro, bro, bro. We got it. Electrodynamics. I think we might be able to get double-digit percentages here. Okay. Okay, we got, dude. No, 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 no. That that is possible. You just gotta go at the very edge here, right? Yeah, that is holy man. We're really working for it. You're really making me work for it. Electrodynamics. Okay, we're coasting along the top. We're taking everything we can get here. There is a spike jutting down a little bit. If we can just hit that uh, yellow orb, we're gonna be gravy. No, it's so far away though. We gotta get. We gotta get down there. It's deadly. We can't get down there. No. No mega fail. Hey, we got to 11% though. 11%. And we can't hit the pad either at the end. Oh, you can't hit the pad. You can't hit the orb. The orb is so close, man. Oh gosh, dang it. Electrodynamics, 11%. Hexagon force. Oh yeah, this part, that, that's gonna be impossible. Dude, it would be so cool if we get to this duel. I might just put a start POS there and see if we can do that duel. Nice. Beginning, beginning, beginnings. Dude, we can do the beginning. But like I said, once we get here, uh, that's impossible. There's, there's no way through the saw blades. I can get, I can get like in between the first saw blade, but then there's the spikes at the top, right? Hexagon force 13%. But hey, it's impressive that we made it at least past the beginning, right? But I do want to start, put a start position here and see if this duel is possible. We just got, we just got to try it out. Just, just for the lols. How would we do this, man? Oh, you can just like switch and go in there and then like, okay, so switch. And then you gotta, you gotta go fast though. Yo, you see that? Woohoo! Okay, that was crazy. That was awesome. Whoa, did you watch this? Watch this, watch this. <laughs> it's you can do the duel with just the ball. It was worth it to check that out. That that was cool. Blast processing. Yeah, there's no way to get through that because the black uh, little like Lego block castle things, they, they would certainly murder you. So let's see. Is that already, is that already? No, no, that's not an impossible input because you can go on the bottom for sure. Okay. Boom. Okay, we made it. Somehow we made it through there. All right, so we are making it to the wave. We are the wave. But then you get to this section. Yeah, there's there's no way to get through this. It's just a straight waving section. The top and the bottom kills you. There's no way to get through. So blast processing, we can make it to 18%, which is much higher than some of the other levels, to be fair. Here we too. I feel like we're not making it that far in this level. <laughs> How far can we get in TOE2? Can we even make it past the beginning? Surprisingly, yes. Surprisingly, yes, we can. Okay, that was it was a little shaky. Now let's see, can you actually get past this ball part? It's because they're not slopes, right? These parts here, like if you sloped up and you jumped in the air, you probably could, but because they're just like a bunch of like tiny cubes, you wouldn't, you won't be able to do that. Although one sec, no, gravity automatically makes you fall down. I was gonna say, if we could somehow coast along the top, we can maybe squeeze in there. But there is, there's a gravity portal that forces you down. And because it forces you down, you can't like get on top of that first cube to like go in there. So TOE2, surprisingly, you can make it past the beginning. But as soon as you get to this ship section, you get stuck at 12%. Oh my God. I will be shocked if Geometrical Dominator is possible. Actually, I already know for a fact it isn't because I know there's a wave section that I got stuck on. If we can somehow get some sort of miracle and make it to this wave section, this is where we're going to lose. If we can even make it that far, which I, I, dude, don't hold your breath. Absolutely don't hold your breath. We, we actually got to get, we have to get onto the top here, squeeze on through there and then go up that way. Okay, cool. So we are making it decently far though. Like as com compared to like some of the other levels we've done, we're making it okay far. I just, dude, I just took the coin path. Do you see how cool that was? I took the coin path and I'm in the water. Dang. Oh, no. Spiky spikies. Oh, no. we were doing so well. We made it to 20% finally in one of these later levels. 20% is good enough. Deadlocked. Is deadlocked possible with only the ball? <laughs> yeah, we are not making it far, bro. Okay, so I'm just, we're just going to start this up because like... You rip. Absolute rip. That's, there's nothing you can do about that. 
you know what's going to be interesting when 2.2 comes out? I'm going to make a video like this and I'm going to see what levels are possible with the swing copter. And I think that's going to be probably the most interesting out of all these videos. I had to try the ball though, you know? The ball, surprisingly, a lot of the levels at the beginning anyways, were possible. I thought the ball would be interesting because at least a few of them are possible. But like this, this is already sick. Like, I don't even think I'm going to be able to make it past that black jump orb. I can't even make it to the spider part. Usually the spider part is what stumps me. But like... Oh, no, you can actually make it through there. Okay. Interesting. But then there's no way to go here. Like, just because of the nature, like those spikes at the top, which is just seemingly decoration. Like, there's spikes that just block you. You you cannot land there to go down as the ball. Oh, you can! Oh, son! Oh, and then that's, that's a thing. There's lava on the bottom. But you can go into the lava, can't you? You can... In Finger Dash, in some of the parts, you can go into the lava, but not all of them. Yeah, which is fascinating. Okay, but I can't, you can't make that jump. There's no way. All right, so Finger Dash is 12%. Wow, challenge is over. That came to an abrupt finish. As soon as we got to Jumper, like we barely made any progress in any of the levels. 2.2 drops, I'll do the Swing Copter game mode for sure, because that's going to be very interesting. A lot of them will be possible, a lot of them won't be. If you guys want to see a really stupid video about, is it possible with, like, the spider, the cube, or the robot? Like, I'll try them, but it's, they're not going to be possible. There's too many flying sections that have spikes on the bottom and the top. However, it might be interesting to just see what the highest percentage in a level you can get would be. Possibly. I don't know. Leave a like, it helps me out a lot. I'll see you in the next one, and as always, peace.